Hey guys, Will here from Will Get Outside. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're nice and warm because I tell you what, it is chilly today. I'm gonna have to get my jacket. Right, now as I was setting up, this is what I saw just in the snow. Right, otters. So there's otters living in that river over there. That's amazing. But today we're not talking about otters, no. We are talking about another type of waterfowl. We've discussed swans, but now we're gonna talk about geese. But not just any geese, we're gonna be talking about Canadian geese. But in order to do that, I'm gonna have to go find them, which means we are gonna go on a little trek. So let's get going on this mini adventure. Now over there's the Greenway. It's an old disused railway, which is now a path for everyone to go down, cycle down. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and we're heading to that bridge right now. Here we are on top of said bridge. Now this is the Greenway. I have many memories coming down here but I tell you what, there was a lot of mud to get through to get here. <laughs> Take a look. My boots are paying. This used to be a railway track leading from Stratford all the way to Longmaston I believe. It was closed in 1976 and then around the 1980s it got turned into this pathway. Now we have to go this way to find our geese because I can't exactly... Could have used a canoe. Alright here we are in the field of geese. Now let's get down to scientifics alright. The scientific name of a chemical goose is Aranta canadensis. Now the reason it's called is because its origin is Canada. Now these guys can live up to the age of 24. Now I'm only 21, which means some of these guys may be older than I am. How mad is that? Now the Canada Goose is recognisable by their long black neck and their little, hmm, I don't know, chin strap, their little white chin strap that they have. Now these guys, they have serrated bills in order to eat their food. They eat all the plants, grass. <laughs> why, why do geese fly south? It's too far to walk. That's terrible. I know what you're thinking. Well, we're in the UK. Surely Canada geese should be in Canada. Well, these guys were introduced into the UK and Europe in the 17th century. And being such adaptable creatures, they can now call this place home. Now, as you can probably tell, these guys are quite loud. Canada geese are able to make up to 13 different calls, each one for their own meaning. This can be for finding food, marking territory, calling for an alarm, or finding a mate. Now our feathery friends will usually mate for life and most likely make their nest where they were born. Speaking of making a nest, in my fact file, even gooselings, whilst they're still in the egg, are able to communicate with their parents. Females will lay around four to seven eggs a year. It usually takes around 24 to 30 days for them to hatch. Well, I may have scared them off, but I hope you're able to see their perfect V formation. Now, the reason that geese fly like this is because when the center one at the front is flying, he's the navigator. He's deciding which way the flock is going to go. 
whereas the rest on the side, they don't have to flap their wings as hard, which means they are more or less resting whilst they're flying. And then they will swap in turns of who gets to be at the front. Well, there you go. Now you know some more facts about the Canada Goose. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Get Outside crew. I'm Will, and remember, get outside.